Hi, uh, this is Rushab here. Welcome to the uh, Flappy Developer Training Session 3. Uh, in this session, we are going to look more into uh, creating, uh, using more features of talk types, exploring more features. In the first couple of sessions, we installed uh, a Frappe app and we set up a talk type and we understood what a talk type it is. We are working on an um, app that helps you uh, save track meetings. So at the end of the last session, we created a talk type for meeting and meeting agenda and we logged into MySQL using bench MySQL command to just uh, view the tables that have been created and we saw two tables created for meeting and meeting agenda. In the tables, the, the fields that we had set have been automatically created in the top type table along with a bunch of standard fields. And uh, as you can see in the second table, which was the child table, we have the description column that is created. So coming back to our form, we, uh, we saw that we created a basic form with, uh, with, with the from time to time and then we created a child table for agenda. And then we added a, uh, and then we added a child table called meeting agenda and that had one field. That field was not mandatory, so let's make that field mandatory for now. Now let's create more tables for uh, attendees and uh, and the minutes, uh, the minutes of the meeting. So we can copy a doc type by going to menu duplicate. And as we saw, uh, the fields have already been copied over. For uh, the minutes of the meeting, uh, along with the description of the minute, we can set fields like uh, what action uh, has been decided, um, who is responsible for completing the action. Uh, so we can link a user here. So like we said before, link fields can be used uh, to link one doc type to another. So uh, which act uh, which act as foreign keys uh, in the database. Uh, foreign keys are actually not created in the database itself. The reason is that MySQL always creates an index for a foreign key and there may be times when we have too many link fields but we don't want an index created for each link field. So the data integrity is managed by the Frappe framework and not by the database. Uh, so after linking to the responsible person to a user. So user is um, a, a standard doc type that is created uh, with Frappe. So Frappe comes with a bunch of standard uh, doc types like user, role, doc type itself is a doc type. And so we can use the standard user because you already have all the interface of adding users, setting passwords and authentication and all such other uh, functionality is already there in the user. So we uh, we've added a few uh, more fields. We linked it to the user. We now call it assigned to. We have a status field whether the minute is open or closed, and we um, we have a date by which it is supposed to be completed. Let's save this and make this our uh, uh, meeting minute. So in child doc types, unlike parent doc types, you don't need to define the permissions. Permissions uh, for child doc types are the same as the parent doc type. So we created a table meeting minute, so we can go back to the meeting meeting doc type and add another section break and another table for um, the minutes of the meeting. So as we did with agenda, we can uh, define the field type as table and the name of the doc type that uh, uh, that makes the table field in options. And then we can add section breaks to make the form look more organized and we can automatically hide sections 
make them collapsible uh, so that the form looks nicer. So let us just check. Uh, let's just refresh the page and see. So as you can see now we have two tables. One table for agenda and one for minute. So again, all the fields that we created in the table have are visible in, in, in the form for the minutes. So let us organize the form a bit so that it, it looks more organized. Let us uh, add column breaks. So along with section breaks, you can add column breaks so that you can, uh, you can divide your form into two columns or three columns. We don't recommend three columns, but you can definitely do two columns, uh, two column layouts, so that you can optimize uh, space in your form. Similarly, let us create another. Let us quickly build our functionality. We have another table for attendees. In the attendee table, we have the user, the full name of the user, whether the user has accepted. To attend the meeting and whether the user finally attended the meeting. So again we add the link of the user. In Frappe all users are identified by their email id uh, and their full, na full name is all, all also stored. So we create a separate field for full name. And since this full name is already set in user, this field will be read only and the user's full name should automatically appear on saving or on selection of the user. Now let us create a couple of check fields. We can, uh, we can call them invitation accepted and whether meeting attended. So when, when the child table is collapsed, it appears in a grid. So if you check the in list view property, then it will show that property in the grid, otherwise it will not show. Also, if you check more uh, fields to be in list view, then, then, that, then there is space, then it will automatically show only the first three or four columns. So just be aware of that. In Frappe framework uses the bootstrap framework to, uh, to manage the screen layout and make it responsive. So bootstrap comes with a 12 grid system and we uh, stick with the 12 grid system. So if each column probably takes three uh, columns of a grid or four columns, then we can just have three or four uh, columns displayed in, in the table grid view. So again, in the main doctor meeting, we create a section break and then link the table field inside the main doc type, inside the parent meeting doc type. In terms of naming, we always name the child doc type with the parent doc type. So if it's an attendee, it's always a meeting attendee. And the field name is always plural and it's only attendee. So if it's meeting, the name of the doc type is singular, but the name of the field related is always plural. So you have attendees in meeting and each attendee is a meeting attendee uh, in this case. Having consistency about naming is really nice because then when new developers come in, they already know this, this, the, the way things are named and it's very easy to guess field names and that makes everybody a lot more productive. So let us just refresh and check. Now we have agenda, we have attendees. Inside the attendee we have, uh, we can select the attendee and then we can select whether uh, the attendee has accepted the meeting agenda or not. So let us also add a section and column breaks to the, to the grids. Uh, grids also support multiple columns and multiple sections, same way as parent forms. It's usually always uh, a good practice to uh, make things, to organize things as we build them. So 
even if you're just prototype prototyping it's really nicer if you can see the columns and sections appear the way you would want them to appear in a in the final product so this helps you visualize uh, how the product will look and also it's just one less thing you have to uh, imagine when you're imagining the product if it looks polished then uh, then you can think of the next step just quickly create a few users uh, so that we can use uh, so that uh, we can start filling in our filling in information and fill out of what a meeting uh, looks like this will help us so having realistic data is again very uh, critical to prototyping because once you have real data it has a lot more context than just having an empty form so when you create a user automatically its avatar is uh, uh, set for, from gravatar.com and uh, the first user so in in, here, in Frappe, uh, a user called administrator is created the administrator user is only to be used for development it is not to be used while using the system the person who manages users in the system is called a system manager and you uh, always create users even for yourself when you are actually using any product you build on the Frappe framework and for any user you create you can assign roles and so so at least one user you have must be a system manager and so the first user you create automatically becomes a system manager so let us also create another role called a meeting attendee because you have somebody somebody who has the rights to create a meeting but somebody has the rights only to uh, only as an attendee and then that user can probably only read a meeting and then uh, not probably create a meeting so we create so there we are we just uh, uh, have set up our app and we have just uh, made sure that everything looks nice and before we get into the real developer stuff which is uh, scripting the doc type. So see you next session.